There are several common pitfalls when determining cause and effect in a complex system. To avoid these, we first observe a situation and then hypothesize a reason for what was observed. From there, <laughs> we test the hypothesis not to prove ourselves right, but to try and prove ourselves wrong. Otherwise, we can reach incorrect conclusions. We need, do we need a server? Uh, sorry, Bill. I'm having some power problems. It should be all good now. Uh, thanks. <laughs> See, I thought the lamp started working again because I had tapped it. But I was wrong. Perhaps I should have known. Several taps didn't do anything at all. But when it did work, I still thought it was me. I kept remembering the hits and forgetting the misses. It's like being a fan of the Eagles. <laughs> I was suffering from confirmation bias. I only paid attention to the evidence that supported my belief, my bias, and I ignored what contradicted it. Confirmation bias is a sort of brain trap, which is why in science, we try to prove ourselves wrong, not try to prove ourselves right. Right? Wrong! Exactly. Fighting confirmation bias is even harder when we really want to believe in something. And a lot of us want to believe in literally incredible things. Ghosts, astrology, Bigfoots. <laughs> Hi, Sandin. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Foot. I mean, she's really into it. And that's when a pseudoscience is born. Charlatans use confirmation bias to sell us nonsense. And once you buy in, that same bias will keep you in the dark. I got this.